Hi, in this video I have an IDS alarm panel and I'm going to demonstrate a technique to connect your garage doors to your alarm panel. Right, so over here my garage door is closed, but I'm now going to open it. So what I've done is I've connected the garage door as a zone on my alarm. So just like any door, you can also use a door sensor for your garage door. So over here I have a regular door magnet. So this is a reed relay which is inside there. And when the magnet gets close to the reed relay, it closes it. So if I just show you the continuity or the short circuit with the multimeter, when I touch the leads, notice the short circuit, the buzzer. Notice the meter says zero. So if I put my leads on either side of those terminals, listen to the buzzer and look at the meter. So as I move this magnet away, I'm opening the circuit and then when I get closer, I'm closing the circuit. So I can use this on a garage door. Now this might be quite difficult to mount on certain garage doors. Now some alarm companies do supply industrial type door sensors, specifically for garage doors, and they can be mounted on the floor. But what's also useful are limit switches. So over here I've got a variety of different limit switches. Some have a roller and these limit switches can be quite elaborate. This one is a cat's whisker. Notice that it's got the spring here and you might be able to use this with your garage door. So let me go show you what I did on my garage door. All right, so over here I have the reed relay side and this is the magnet. So just having a look at a side view, notice that there is enough clearance here so that the garage door can open and go past the reed relay side. These door sensors do have quite a range, so this is quite close. But if your door was a bit further, even like that, it would still close that reed relay. Right, so the two wires for the zone go on the screws there. It is a little bit corroded. This is a much older installation. I've just opened it up to demonstrate. Most alarms require a terminating resistor, and there is the resistor. And the magnet is connected to the moving part, so that's the garage door, while this part over here is connected to the frame of the garage door. So when I activate the door, there it goes. So there's the magnet side, which has now moved away from the reed relay. So on the alarm, it is now saying the garage door is open. Now, when I close the garage door, the alarm no longer picks it up as a violated zone because the door is closed. So that's the side view of the unit. Right, then depending on what alarm panel you're using, you'll need to connect your door switch to your alarm panel. In this case, I'm using an IDS panel. This is an X64. I'm just connecting it on zone 8 over there. And for this alarm system, it does require a resistor in series. And there you can see the two wires and there is the reed relay. And this would be mounted onto the garage door. The garage door would move and it would open and close this reed switch. And when you open the garage door, it will then open this reed relay, which will then update your alarm key to tell you your garage door is open. Right over here I have a gate and I can also determine if the gate is open or closed by using a limit switch. At the moment there is a limit switch here and what happens is when the gate is opened there you can see that that metal pushes the limit switch into the closed position. So this can also be used to connect to your alarm system, but preferably you'd want to use an IP rated industrial type limit switch. So here's one over here. There you can see if I mounted it like that, as the gate opened, there you can see the limit switch is now in the open position, telling me it's an open circuit, the gate is open. When the gate closes, you can see that it, it closes the limit switch, telling my alarm system that the gate is closed. Right, for the gate option, if it's indoors, you could use these type of basic limit switches. They are not IP rated, so water can get in here. If your gate is outdoors, then you could use these type of limit switches. And you connect it in the same way that I've just demonstrated. So inside the limit switch, if I open the cover, you will see there are connectors. So on the inside of the limit switch, it says NO and NC, normally open, normally closed. So I have to first decide if I want it to be in the normally open or normally closed position. So when it's at rest, this would be the gate is open. And if it's open, it should be an open circuit. So that is why I'm going to use the NO, which stands for normally open. So if I put my meter there, you can see that it is not a short circuit. There's no beeping. And when the gate closes, there we have the short circuit. And when the gate opens, there it's telling my alarm system it is an open circuit, which means the zone is violated, which means it'll come up on your alarm panel, on your keypad telling you your gate or your garage door is open. All right, so there I've demonstrated using the basic domestic type door switch, and then also more the industrial type limit switches so that you can set your gate or garage door to your alarm system so you are updated when there is an opening or closing of that gate or garage door. So good luck with your installations and thanks for watching and cheers.